This video is sponsored by True Gold Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman will lose report today, May 5th, 2024. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a detailed report of the two X flares and the numerous M flares on our other channel at World News Report 1, if you'd like to go check it out. Meanwhile, we're going to do a quick report here. We've had two X flares thus far today and numerous M flares. We started off with an X 1.3 flare at 6.01 UTC time, followed by an X 1.2 flare at 11.54 UTC time. They've also given us a very high probability of continued X flares, and especially M flares, through the 8th or maybe 9th of May because of the complexity and the history of Sunspot AR 3663 that produced both the X 1.3 solar flare and the X 1.2 solar flare. Heading over to Ghost X-ray Flux, we ended the day with a very strong M9 flare, started the day with an M8 flare, that was followed by the X1.32 solar flare, that was later followed by an M7 solar flare, and finally we've had an M1.2 solar flare just recently. Head over to spaceweatherlive.com. We're currently at running a very strong C baseline, a C4.84. They've increased the chance of X class solar flares to 50%. Just 10 minutes ago, it was at 30%. 50% is the highest I've ever seen it. They've increased the chance of an M class solar flare to 90%, which is also the highest I've ever seen it. Okay. Like I said, we ended the day off with an M9.1 solar flare right here out of AR3663. Started the day off with an M8.3 solar flare out of AR3663. Now the next thing we picked up was this X1.2 solar flare. And that was also out of AR3663. Please notice that AR3663 is alpha beta Delta Gamma and AR3664, the only other sunspot group actually producing flares is Alpha Beta Gamma, both very complex. That was followed up by this M7.3 solar flare, also produced by sunspot group AR3663, and after that we had an X1.2 solar flare. And that was as well from Sunspot Group AR3663. Now the first solar flare, although it says X1.2, was an X1.32, as you'll see up here on the 24-hour max. Headed over to HMI Intensigram, we see AR3663, Alpha, Beta, Delta, Gamma, very complex and very large. The only other sunspot to produce any flaring today that we see is... AR3664, also fairly complex. With that said, we have several additional large sunspot groups coming around the limb if they have not already crested the limb. We've got Lasco C2, Lasco C3, and Cactus 1 all out and not working whatsoever. How convenient. We won't be able to tell for ourselves if a chrome mass ejection was emitted, although I don't think that these have been working for some time. Headed over to GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms. We can see that last X1.2 flare right there. And we also see activity coming out of Sunspot Group AR3664, our only other active Sunspot Group, which looks pretty impressive. Heading over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, we first off see the M7.3 solar flare that hit 
most all of Western Europe and Africa. And we're running a very heavy baseline here. I was followed by the X1.2, the second X flare of the day. That also hit over Western Europe, Africa, and most all of the Atlantic. And we've been running a very, very high baseline with lots of smaller flares since that time period. All right. Heading over to STO on the left first at 193 angstroms. Remember, we finished yesterday with a M9, started the day with an M8. Uh, and then we had our first X flare at 6 UTC time, followed by our second one at around 12 UTC time. So let's give it a whirl and see what we can see. You can see us getting that M9 there and an M8 there. And then we move into the 6 o'clock time period. We'll get an X flare there. That was the X1.32. And here we go into the 12 o'clock time period. And there was the last X flare. Very easy to see. That was the X1.2 followed by the M flare. Now let's head over to STO at 171 angstroms. Not as easy to see. Remember, we started the day or ended the day with an M9. I guess that was it. And then an M8 starting the day. And then when we get to 6 UTC right about now, that was the X1.32. And when we get to 12 UTC time right about now, that was the X1.2. Much harder to see. And I will show you also the activity from AR3664 uh, during the day here. We've had several flares come from that sunspot group. Again, much easier to see at 193 angstroms, but the activity is visible. Finally, taking a look at 193 angstroms and forgetting about the most active complex sunspot looking down here at AR3664. We can actually see the time periods. It did generate several M flares today. Uh, nothing as large as what we're seeing coming out, obviously, of AR3663 that produced both the X. 1.32 and the X 1.2 solar flare. I wish I could tell you once those two sunspots transverse the earth facing side of the solar disk, it would all be good to go, but that's not true. We have tons of enormous sunspot groups coming around the limb and at least two of them should be named today if they haven't already been. Wow. The backside looks terrible. Over to NASA's Goodard is with Spiral. Please remember that we were supposed to be hit on the 4th and 5th by that plasma. It never happened. They also have us hit on the 9th or 10th. Again, they're jumping five days into the future somehow. Hard for me to fathom. Uh, but we haven't seen any activity from the 4th and 5th impact. And they haven't modeled any of these solar flares thus far. Of course, it's Sunday. They're all off today. I don't understand why they don't work in shifts. So there's someone there at all times to update the modeling equipment. And finally, just to kind of show you they were completely wrong about their prediction that they did make or the forecast they did make. Nothing has occurred on the 4th or 5th whatsoever. No intense solar winds and no plasma impacting earth with that said may is going to be extremely intensive keep those tinfoil hats handy in case we have a very large x flare i want you to be able to remember your name and how to do the basics please share please subscribe always remember that anything's possible in bizarro world